If you haven't voted in more than six years, it's unlikely that a September primary race for city council would be what all of a sudden motivates you to get up and go to the polls today. But if you did, you would likely find that your name is now among the 200,000 Ohioans who were removed from the active voter list last Friday, 30,000 of them here in Cuyahoga County. And that doesn't mean, though, that you can vote as part of a compromise reach with voting rights groups. Ohio will allow you to cast a vote on one of these, a yellow provisional ballot, which will then be set aside. And after election night, your local board of elections will go back into the records just to double check that you were indeed part of the purge. And because of that, we're going to go ahead and make um, the provisional ballot good for this election and reactivate their registration. So it's a twofer. Your vote will count and you will now be on the books as an active voter for the next six years. The folks in Cuyahoga County ran their own review of their voting records with several layers of proofing to limit errors before removing the voters. We have an excellent IT department. We ran our own scripts uh, to create who would be on those lists. So anyone who had voter activity, they were not included in that. And that compromise that allows you to cast that provisional ballot and update your registration will be in place through next year's presidential election and into 2022. John Kasich, News 5.